Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 2nd of 2020, well, it is titled Two Worlds, One Sun. So what do we see here? Well, actually, in this case, we're looking at two images of the sunset. And if you note that they look very different, uh, the one on the left, a very reddish glow looking much more like a traditional sunset that we're used to seeing. And the one on the right with a bluer glow to the sky, unusual and not something that we normally see for sunset. And if you also take a closer look at the sun as to why then as to the sun then you can notice that the sun on the left is a little bit larger and the sun on the right is a little bit smaller. So what the reasoning is that these are actually taken from two different locations. And if you look down below the image, it will tell you that the one was taken in France here on Earth and the other was taken on Mars near the Gale crater uh, from the Curiosity rover. So the one on the left, it does look like a traditional sunset here on Earth, where you can see the red color, which happens as the sun sets and it's going through more and more atmosphere. And the atmosphere will, is very good at scattering out the shorter wavelengths of light. So it scatters out the blues and the greens. And if you've ever watched a sunset, you'll notice that the sun will go from a yellowish color into an orange and into a red and into a very deep red as it gets close to the horizon. So that's what we're used to seeing here. However, when we look at the sunset on Mars, uh, taken from the Curiosity rover, we can see that it is a very blue sky. And that's one of the things that astronomers don't completely understand. And one of the things that is studied trying to figure out why Mars gives us this blue coloring as compared to the red color that we see here on Earth. Now, of course, we've looked at Mars a couple times recently, and part of that is because the uh, we have just launched a new um, rover to Mars, and that was the uh, Perseverance rover, and that will arrive on Mars early next year. So as we look at that, that'll reach there early next year and give us a chance to study Mars a little bit more and in a little bit more detail. This rover is actually bringing a helicopter as a new trial as an experiment to see how that works to be able to travel through Mars in a little bit different way instead of traveling over the surface to be able to travel through the atmosphere. And it's a difficult thing because Mars's atmosphere is much thinner than the Earth's. So it means it requires a lot higher rotation speed for the rotors and much larger rotors to be able to lift. You don't get the same amount of lift that you would get here on Earth where we have significantly more atmosphere. So it will be interesting to see uh, early next year when we start to get some of the images back from this new rover and hopefully learn a little bit more about the red planet with the blue sunset. So that was our picture of the day for August the 2nd of 2020. It was titled Two Worlds, One Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Newly Wise Comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.